TV. I don't know if this man did operation. Did he do operation? It was not an operation. You went to check his stomach with, with a camera. With a camera? Yes, they put a camera in January. So he must not do operation, this man. Yes. It will be a, a plan of the enemy. Yes. You understand? Yes. This guy kill him. Yes, did he? Because he fails to wake up after they sedate him. After they did that? Yes, they give him anesthetic. Up. So he fails to wake up. He wakes up after a long time. So when I touch his stomach here, can you hear? Check my hair in his mouth. Natasha. His stomach. It's like there's a demon here. Yeah. Yeah. His stomach becomes very hard. So please don't encourage him to do operation. Amen. You understand? He needs to die, this one. Huh? He needs to die. He must die? Yes. So you're the one who's killing him? No, it's not me. It's who? It's his people. His people? Yes. So who are you who's speaking? Me? Yeah. I'm from this girl's side. You're from where? I'm from the woman's side. So what are you doing with this, this woman? No, I just want him to die so that this one can suffer. This one? Yes. Why? I, he loves her too much. Huh? He loves her too much. He loves her too much? It was you who make it. Huh? It was you. Remember they wanted to divorce in 2012? Mm. And then when you bless them again, up until today, they haven't fought ever since. They never fought? Mm -mm, there's so love in that what, house. What is it that you put in the stomach? I wanted him to have cancer. Oh. Yes. You want to kill him? Yes. So you failed? I'm still trying. You failed? No, I'm trying. Let me kill you in Jesus' name. So you failed in Jesus' mighty name. You are free. Rise up, brother. Rise up. Lift him up. Can you tell us how you feel in your stomach? It's just sometimes hard. It's hard? Yeah, sometimes I feel like there is a hole here. Mm. Don't do operation. I was telling your wife. Don't Amen. do operation. And I touch your stomach again. Yeah. Even here. It's as if you have eaten something. So you are, today you are free in Jesus' name. No. Hi, no regenerator man. Hi. And you are the one who doesn't want this lady to come to church. Hi. Yeah? Sometimes she just says, I don't want to go to that church. Mm. Yeah. What? It's, a, it's a struggle to, it's a struggle bring, to, her to bring her here. Yeah. This is a demon. So you, you force her to bring her here. Yeah. Oh. Always. Yeah? Always. You fight yeah. so that she must come. Yeah. So today, I'm going to pray for him. In Jesus' name. Can you hear that? So you are not here to pray for the man. You are not here to pray for the man. You are not here to never fight for her to come to church again. In Jesus' name. She's free. Okay, my name is... Uh, Calvin Mukansi. I uh, got a prophecy from the day today um, that um, uh, there is uh, something in my stomach um, and I must not do operation. And um, in, I think it was January, I had to go under sedation so that they can check my stomach and I was failing to wake up.
uh, from the seduction. So I confirm the prophecy to be true. Um, I was also feeling something on my side, like it's like it's a it's a wall or, or something on my on my stomach, and uh, he advised me that I must not uh, go for operation because it's the plan of the of the enemy. And the second prophecy was that um, my wife uh, she, she does not want to come to church. Uh, and it's a demon that is also stop, stopping her eh? and uh, is fighting also that we must, we must divorce. So I confirm the prophecy because every time we need to go to church, there's something that comes up and then uh, we don't uh, usually come. So I, I thank God I feel uh, I'm free now uh, and she will be free also to come to church. Okay, my name is Mutelo Mukasi. I'm with my husband, Calvin Mukansi. We are from Centurion. Um, I want to confirm that the prophecy that Daddy gave us is true. Every Sunday, when my husband tells me to come to church, I always find something to do around the house, be it cleaning or ironing, just so that I cannot go to church. And then it makes us fight. So I also confirm the prophecy regarding the divorce that every time if we can fight, I always mention that I will have to divorce him. Since the, since the man of God prayed for us today, I believe that our marriage will stand. Amen.